Taiwan is facing an acute shortage of registered nurses. According to government data, job vacancy rates soared to their highest in a decade last year. Nurses say the problem is long hours and high-demand work environments made worse by the COVID-19 pandemic. They've put forth nine demands to improve work conditions for the rank and file health care staff. Nurse managers from around Taiwan stand united, raising their voices in unison. They call for better working conditions for nurses. Actually, we noticed the manpower shortage 11 years ago, but it wasn't as serious at the time. Our situation today is because of the pandemic. For many nurses, the workload over the past three years of the pandemic has been absolutely overwhelming. The nurse said that on any given day, the emergency room might see 50 to 70 patients. Due to understaffing in the patient wards, emergency room patients are forced to wait for a bed in the emergency room. This doubles the workload of emergency room staff, she said. We used to have enough staff but not enough beds, but now we have beds but no staff. In many hospitals today, what used to be a 60-bed observation area is now packed with 120 beds. Nursing staff face long hours and a high-pressure work environment made worse by the pandemic. According to Health Ministry statistics, the turnover rate for nurses stood at 11.79 percent last year. The vacancy rate rose to 6.53 percent, the highest in 10 years. As for what nurses are most dissatisfied with, the first thing is a low salary, followed by raises that are too small, raises that come too slowly. There's also the nurse-to-patient ratio, the manpower shortage, long hours, and the shift system. The staffing shortage is largely due to the low salary, which nurses find disproportionate to the number of patients they must care for. The Taiwan Union of Nurses Association has made nine demands to improve work conditions for nurses. They include raising wages, stationing more male nurses at hospitals under the Alternative Military Service Program, and fast-tracking a law to standardize nurse-to-patient ratios for all three shifts nationwide. That's possible as long as we meet our goal, which is to reach a consensus on the nurse-to-patient ratios for the three shifts by the end of the year. Once that consensus is reached, we can start to promote the law next year. Taiwan's population is aging fast. By 2030, it will face a predicament as caregiving needs spike and a generation of nurses retires. Already, hospitals are struggling to meet patient needs with their depleted, shrinking workforce. For policymakers, it's clear that conditions for nurses must change, but fixing the problem will be a long and winding road.